Hi, I'm Mary Pearson, and I'm someone who went through the 48-hour breakthrough. Mary, um, thank you for being here, by the way. You're welcome. And um, one of the questions I have is, what was the biggest aha you took away from the 48-hour breakthrough? I think one of the biggest uh, aha moments for me was um, that no matter what happens in life, uh, you can still be happy. You can still uh, move on. You can have a happy, fun-filled life. And um, the thing that happened to me, and I'll just put it out there, is I unexpectedly lost my husband. And I, of course, didn't see that coming. And so I thought that I would never be happy again. Um, but that's not true. I do miss him every day. But I am still a happy person, and I still enjoy my life. So now you and your husband had a business together. How did the experience in the 48-hour breakthrough and the, the information you took away from that help you in your business? One of the things the 48-hour uh, breakthrough did for me for the business is it helped me uh, refocus what was important. It helped me uh, work with my son uh, who's in the business as well and helped us to be able to decide together what we wanted the business to be. Um, where we wanted to take it, what our next step was, what the next level was, what our long-term um, plan was, and to focus more on that than all of the daily little things that you can get mired down in that really aren't that important. So overall, what do you feel like was the biggest benefit of experiencing that weekend? I think the biggest benefit to me was um, it helped me get refocused. Uh, it helped me think about the things in life that are really important. Um, first of all, uh, me, I'm important, and I didn't think that I was. Uh, my health uh, is important, and the reason that's important is because um, if you are healthy and if you love yourself, then you are going to be a better person and you're going to be a better person for the people that are around you. Like, for instance, my children and my grandchildren are very, very important to me. But I had kind of lost uh, focus of all of that um, due to my particular situation. And I was just so sad and so um, just feeling sorry for myself because of what happened and the situation I was in. I didn't really know how to move forward from that. And so to uh, take that situation and turn it around and make something positive uh, out of that and to just be thankful for what I have and also it made me thankful for all of the wonderful years I had with my husband that uh, we were very blessed we worked together uh, we played together uh, we were together pretty much 24 hours a day and so I was just really thankful that I had uh, that type of marriage and then I had that type of husband and for all the years that we had I was just it made me more thankful for what I had than sad for what I don't have so, Mary, if, if you were talking to someone out there that was maybe sitting on the fence and thinking about coming to the 48-hour breakthrough but not really sure, what would you tell them? What I would tell them is that you can't sit on the fence. Uh, life is either moving forward or you're moving backward. And in life, you want to move, you want to be moving forward. Um, life happens regardless of, you know, we all, when we're young, we have goals and dreams and, and we have the way we think our life is going to be. It doesn't always turn out that way. Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes life throws you uh, lemons and you have to learn how to make lemonade. So we all get in a rut. We all have things in our life that bog us down or that keep us from maybe achieving our goals. You need help sometimes to get through that. Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't think I was going to be able to move on. I was very much uh, in a place that I didn't like to be in that was a very unhappy place for me. And most of us have things in our life that happen, whether it's business related, whether it's personal related, whatever it is, that's just the way life goes. Life isn't perfect and, and it hits everyone in the face with adversity at some point. So if you're finding yourself struggling with something that has got you in a rut or you feel like that you can't move forward, that you're on the fence, I would highly recommend that you go to the 48 hour breakthrough, uh, get refocused, uh, get re-energized and get yourself moving forward again so you can enjoy the rest of your life.